Hi everybody, this is J.C. Melvin and welcome to An Amazing Life TV. This is one of the first shows that we've broadcast and it's, it, it is amazing. We've talked about having different types of people on the show and this happens to be a, a family member of mine and, and his name is Dave Gaskell and Dave Gaskell and his wife Kelly are here and first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the reason that I've asked them to come, and I just want to share this with you, we've all thought about from time to time inventing something in our lives. Well, Dave has invented, I don't know if you remember the Rubik's Cube. Now, I was one of those people that was never very good at the Rubik's Cube. I couldn't get the colors to match up. Had friends in school that were real good, they could almost do it blindfolded and, well, Dave is a mathematical genius and is an IT guy. <laughs> is, that, is that a fair statement? I wouldn't go that far, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, okay. He has created a new game, and it's called AQ. And so let's, let's first of all, um, as, as we're talking, by the way, because we shot some film earlier of you putting this one together. Okay. Now, what's this one called? Does that have a name? It's called Cell Block. Cell Block. Right. Let's see. Am I being timed on this? I think I would. My thought process right now is that I have created this puzzle, so I'm not really solving it. I have the answers memorized. So I am just putting together the side pairs, knowing that with one smooth side, it must go in the center of the side. It can't be on an edge because a hole then would be on the perimeter of the cube. So I'm going to put together those pairs. And since these are all uniquely in the center, very easily put together. And I'm looking for the corners, which have three smooth sides. And I'm putting those together to form the side of a base, along which I will put these into the middle. And I have the base to start. Then I'm going to build upon that with the side. Here, going up, and the key in this puzzle is going to be building the center, which will be these four pieces, in which I will need to form them into a cube with diagonal pins on all four sides. So now that I've gotten my base and top together, sides together, and now we need to work on these four to assemble them in, again making diagonal pins. Oop, didn't work. Now I have diagonals on all sides. The trick is to Place learn together. to enjoy the ride. We have our baggage packed in childhood. It holds this us back on. till we Hold let on. it go. But on this journey of a lifetime. And this one here, what's this one called? Bullseye. Bullseye. And so, uh, just is it the, is this the same puzzle or is this a different puzzle? No, it's a different puzzle. Each of the colors indicate a different block and pin okay. uh, configuration. And this one appears to be solid blue. Is it that is solid blue, and it, that's the original puzzle that we designed. And what's this one called? That's called the original. That, oh, this is called the original. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. It's like, tell us about what, first of all, how many pieces, how many pieces are on the puzzle? 32 pieces make up the puzzle, but not all 32 pieces may be unique. In the original, there are 16 unique pairs. Okay, 16 unique pairs. Yes. So there's two of each kind. Correct. Okay. And the cell block? Has eight unique pieces. But 32 all together. 32 to assemble it. Uh-huh. Eight unique pieces. Eight unique pieces. Okay, so we've got uh, four different, excuse me, we've got four 
eights. You need to ask the math genius that right. question. Yeah. <laughs> not, not necessarily are they all, uh, the, the center are, four are unique, so there's one each of the center pieces. I see. Okay, good. Oh, a little different. Okay. A little different. And the bullseye? Has seven unique pieces. 32 total. 32 total. Seven unique. Seven unique. Oh, that, that's different, isn't it? Yes, it is. Is this the toughest? No, um, the All-American is the toughest, which we don't have here. We don't have here. Okay. But right now, I just would say, out of these three, the original is the toughest, uh, cell block being the easiest, and bullseye being in between. Okay, so this is, this is kind of cool. You are here in Las Vegas for a show uh, for A-Cube, and you're demonstrating this to, to whom? A different... Um... This show is for retailers, and it uh, ex ex exposes the A-Cube to 20,000 potential retailer outlets. Fantastic. So there are brokers, buyers, retailers themselves, and other game producers here uh, that are looking at buying products for the next year. So cool, just out of curiosity, let me just rapid fire a few questions for those that, that are watching this on, on our show. How long did it take you to develop, to develop this, this concept here, this game? About two years. About two years. And how long have you been in the marketing effort of it? Uh, about five months. Five months. And Kelly, uh, how are you, uh, now do you, how are you holding up as the, the are you a, are you a major part of this? Do you, are you a major contributor? Are you a supporter? How is it? Is it crazy? What's the story? <laughs> I the way I describe myself is his number one cheerleader. I am here to support him in any way. Okay. But I also feel like I'm helping him out in significant ways in that I'm helping him manufacture them. So I'm, they're sitting there putting all the pieces together. But I also have a degree in marketing and I work in the advertising. So I'm I'm kind of his marketing director along the way. Although he has everything he needs up here, he just kind of, sort of. Me, I think. <laughs> well, it's, it sounds like you're a natural pair. It sounds like you know, one complements the other. So two so. years, five months down in the marketing. Today was the first day of the show. How did it go? I think it went extremely well. I think that...